Hey everyone, as we head into the new year, I've got a little message for you about boot camps and how they relate to one-on-one -on -one or even two-on-one -on -one personal training, okay? So with personal training, I want you to really understand exactly what personal training is, or at least what it should be. Personal training really comes down to this. When we have a new client, we look at their medical history, as much as the client is willing to share with us, and we immediately start thinking about what are exercises and types of exercises and modalities and intensities that are going to be appropriate for making certain medical conditions better. So for example, if someone had a weak heart, maybe a history of heart attack or stroke, what are some things we can do to safely strengthen the heart? And then we're also looking at things like what are some deficits that this person has? Usually those are their fitness goals, right? They'll say, I want to lose weight. So it's a deficit that they have too much body fat and they're suggesting that they want to lose some of that or a deficit in muscle tissue. And they'll say, I'm, I just don't have much muscle. I'm very weak. I'm not strong enough and I want to gain more muscle. Now, when it comes to personal training, we're looking at all that on a very personal personal level and we're thinking about exactly what intensity, what duration. Did they need uh, 12 to 15 repetitions of 80% of their capacity on a certain muscle group or due to maybe their medical conditions or other things, do they need 50% in no more than seven or eight repetitions? So there's a lot of different scheming going on and sometimes it's a little bit of trial and error, but even then there's a lot of evaluation in the sessions and in the initial consultation. So it's extremely personalized, whether we're working one-on-one -on -one or even if we are working two-on-one -on -one or in a very small group, we're really taking a lot of note on exactly what we're doing and how we're getting the responses and what the symptoms are looking like and, and how we're measuring up, right? On how are we losing body fat at, at the rate we expected? Are we gaining muscle at the rate we expected? Is balance improving? Is aerobic assessment improving? Things like that. When it comes to a boot camp, I know it's a vigorous workout for most, but at the end of the day, the variables are out the window. Most boot camps, they'll just say, women bring a five pound dumbbell, men bring a 10, you know? And, and it's just completely scattered in terms of the intensity and the duration. In many cases, you're overtraining, and sometimes by a lot. And in other exercises, you're gonna be undertraining by a lot. Some exercises are not appropriate at all. They're either unsafe or just a waste of time for that particular client. So it's really a very mixed bag in a boot camp or any kind of large class setting, or really anytime the instructor is not trained on understanding those precise variables that I spoke about. And again, with personal training, it's all about the variables. So it's completely different. There's no such thing, or there shouldn't be any such thing in a personal training session where something is just random, where I'm just gonna give you this weight and we're just gonna do it however many times, you know, that's not programming. That's not exercise science. That's not really the way the personal training was ever designed to work, not the way it should work. So this is just a little cautionary tale as we do head into the new year. And a lot of people are signing up for boot camps. I'm not anti-boot camp. We do boot camps camps for some organizations and communities and things like that. But I would just caution you that it is far from the best way to get healthy and fit. There's a lot more risk of injury. Statistically, people get hurt a lot more in big classes than they do one-on-one. -on -one. So there's a lot more risk. And at the same time, the rewards are very diminishing, uh, diminishing returns over time. It's usually that you're going to plateau pretty quickly when you don't have that private one-on-one. -on -one. Now, when you're private or semi-private and you've got real personal training, totally different world there because we're constantly evaluating. So you should essentially not plateau at all. I mean, there's a limit to how much muscle you can gain or how much fat you can lose. But as long as there's still more to accomplish, you should be able to accomplish in a pretty steady state, almost always, as long as you're up on your nutrition and everything else. So I hope this has been a helpful video. I highly recommend personalization if it's affordable for you and if you have the time. And of course, if not, if all you can do is join a boot camp, then I certainly wish you luck with that as well. Okay. Thanks everybody. Happy holidays and happy new year.